The question of which is better, a mech or a tank, has been one of the most prolific arguments among turbo nerds on the internet for a long time. The general consensus is that the tank is better in every way, and I agree with that notion. But in my other vehicle videos I often get comments saying that mechs aren't all that bad. So I'm going to throw my hat into the ring, and explain my reasoning for thinking that tanks are better than mechs in every single way. First I'm going to talk about the really obvious stuff that people often draw out unnecessarily, and that's the tanks are much more space efficient. That means they are faster, lighter, more well protected, and present an overall smaller profile. This is primarily due to the fact that the tank's method of propulsion is much simpler and effective. With mechs, so much weight is taken up by the legs alone that you are severely limited in how much weaponry, storage, and armor you can have. Not to mention that to move these massive metal legs you need a massive power plant with a lot of fuel. Fuel that you can't store because you don't have the space. Some people say that the mech can fix the profile problem by crouching. Not only would the mech still provide a much larger target, but crouching would prevent the mech from moving quickly, or at all. And now I'm going to talk about the less obvious stuff. It is often said that a mech would be able to traverse terrain that a tank couldn't, with swamps being brought up often. This is highly unlikely given that mechs would have a significantly worse ground pressure than a tank would, and I doubt they'd be much better at knocking down trees. In the Cold War, some Tardak researchers were sent to study how moose moved through swamps as part of an experiment into walking tanks. The researchers were discouraged when they found that a moose's preferred method of traversing a swamp was simply to go around it. Even if a mech could traverse a swamp, the mechs would be left without supporting elements or supplies. Logistic structure as hell wouldn't be able to move through a swamp in support of mechs. This issue is compounded when you think about how these mechs would have very limited ranges, due to their low fuel capacity. Mountains are also brought up as terrain that a mech can handle, and this is especially confusing to me. Have you ever tried to walk up something like a 60% grade? It's not very easy. In fact, you pretty much have to go to all fours in order to climb up it. Now imagine a giant metal machine doing the same thing without nearly as much balance or dexterity as you. And now think back to the tank, which could easily make the climb as long as the engine is powerful enough and the tracks have enough traction. People claim that mechs are also better at dealing with obstacles. If a mech has hands like in Titanfall, it could remove obstacles that block its path. The problem is that engineering vehicles based on tanks already exist for this role. The mech is theoretically multi-role in that regard, but is it worth all the trade-offs that go into having a mech? On top of the lack of armor protection, a mech is significantly more dangerous to be in once it gets hit purely because it can be knocked down. If, say, a tank was to drive over a landmine, the track would be blown off, the suspension damaged, and the crew would probably have minor injuries. If a mech suffers the same fate, the ankle is coming off, and the mech is now falling anywhere from 20 to 100 feet depending on how ridiculous you want your mech to be. You would need some pretty serious crash protection for the pilot if you wanted to avoid him getting turned to jelly once the mech hits the ground. That's not even mentioning the extra damage that such a fall would impart on critical systems, or the havoc that a mech could unleash if it fell on top of friendly forces. The final nail in the coffin for the mech is how many moving parts it needs to function. Each limb would need a large amount of motors, pistons, etc. in order to function, and each one of these can either be jammed or destroyed by gunfire, or fail with regular use. A mech would be an absolute nightmare to keep running. Even the most reliable mech would have a lower availability rate compared to the most temperamental tank. Now, this isn't to say that mechs would be totally useless. They could still be used very effectively in the logistics role, being used to lift heavy objects that regular people couldn't. I could also see small-scale mechs being used for infantry support in urban environments. So I guess the moral of the story is that while mechs are really cool and can be used to spice up a sci-fi universe, don't expect them to be replacing tanks anytime soon, or at all really. I hope you guys liked this short little video. I'm pretty close to being done with the Imperial Guard video, so be on the lookout for that soon.